Good morning, members of the media, and welcome to the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service Weekly Media Brief. I am Michael Peer, Acting Assistant, Superintendent, and the Public Information Officer for the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Today on the briefing, we have Acting Assistant Superintendent Vern Lee Gift of the Organized Crime, Narcotic, and the Firearm Bureau, and he will speak to you regarding the issues pertaining to that department. Thank you very much, Mr. Pierre. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Over the comparative period of January to August 2016 and 2017, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service has had notable successes in the collective effort to not only treat with illegal arms and ammunition, but also continue focus on narcotic offenses. Whilst the threat of firearms is real and ever so evident, the effects of the narcotic scourge is equally as devastating and contribute to the loss and diminished quality of life locally. The law enforcement drive to seize illegal guns is equally matched by the efforts to seize illegal narcotics. The effort in drug supply reduction by local agencies such as the Customs and Excise Division, the Trinidad and Tobago Coast Guard, security agencies at all ports of entry should not go unnoticed. And for this, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service commends them for their efforts. These supply reduction efforts, which represent illegal narcotic seizures and eradications, are only one aspect as the Organized Crime, Narcotics and Firearms Bureau and other external stakeholders continue to engage in demand reduction exercises such as lectures and displays. These demand reduction exercises are geared towards diminishing the appetite and interest in illegal narcotics catering for persons of all ages. This is evident by the amount of first-time offenders who are being held with large quantities of narcotics. To add, these offenders are not limited to unemployed persons seeking financial gain, but also professionals who are otherwise employed in high-paying jobs. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, and by extension, the Organized Crime, Narcotics, and Firearms Bureau, has recognized the continued interest in possessing illegal firearms and narcotics by small groups in society. And as such, issues a clarion call for the civic-minded nationals to join in the fight those willing to assist the law enforcement community in making Trinidad and Tobago a safer place. We call on you to help us to make a difference. Some supporting statistics. For the period January to August 31st, 2016, with regards to cocaine seizures, there were 198.8 kilos or kilograms of cocaine seized. As compared for the same period this year, January to August 2020, January to August 31st, there were 42 kilos of cocaine seizures, a decrease of 83%, with a street value in 2016, 118,227,648 TT dollars. For 2017, 19 million. $510,233.60 Trinidad and Tobago currency. Marijuana, for the period January to August 31st, 2016, there were 1,279.01 kilograms of marijuana seeds. As compared to this year, for the said period, 830.55 kilograms of marijuana, a decrease of 35%. With a street value in 2016, $17,266,635. For 2017, it is 
$11,212,425 Trinidad and Tobago currency. Cocaine arrests, male, 265 males were arrested for the period January to August 31st, 2016, as compared for the set period in 2017, where 107 males were arrested, a decrease of 60%. For females arrested for the period January to August 31st, 2016, for cocaine possession, their number was 11. For the said comparative period, January to August 31st, 2017, 13 females were arrested with cocaine, an increase of 18%. Marijuana arrests for male, in 2016, for the period January to August 31st, 1,734 males were arrested. For the period January to August 2017, 1,976 males were arrested, an increase of 14%. Marijuana arrest female. For the period January to August 31st, 2016, 163 females were arrested. For the period January to August 31st, 2017, 135 females were arrested, an increase of, a decrease, sorry, of 17%. Marijuana eradication. For the period January to August 31st, 2016, there were 29 exercises with a total of 233,000 Three, uh, 330 fully grown marijuana trees destroyed. For the period January to August 31st, 2017, there were 41 exercises with a total of 1,108,737 fully grown marijuana trees destroyed. A 41% increase in exercises compared from 2016 to 2017 and a 375% increase in trees destroyed. Firearms seized. For the period January to August 31st, 2016, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service has seized 514 firearms. For the period January to August 31st, 2017, 702 firearms have been seized thus far with a 36% increase. Firearms arrests, male. For the period January to August 31st, 2016, 552 males were arrested for being in possession of firearm. For the period January to August 31st, 2017, 636 males were arrested with a 15% increase. Firearm arrests, female. For the period January to August 31st, 2016, 102 females were arrested. For the period January to August 31st, 2017, 54 females were arrested, a decrease by 47%. Over the comparative period of January to August 2016 and 2017, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service has had notable success in the recovery of illegal arms and ammunition. While it is difficult to measure the quantity of firearms entering the country, the efforts by the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service across the nine policing divisions with firearms recovery should be noted. Over the past two and a half years alone, January 2015 to August 2017, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service has recovered 691,765,000 million Oh, let me correct that, sorry. For January 2015 to August 2015, 691 firearms were seized. For January 2016 to August 2016, 
765 firearms were seized. And for the same period in 2017, 702 firearms respectively, in addition to approximately 37,000 rounds of assorted ammunition. Of these nine divisions, the majority of seizures were made in the northern, western, and southwestern divisions. Of these 2,126 firearms seized, the largest categories were that of pistols and revolvers. Thank you. One moment, please. Oh. Okay. Can I make a correction, please? One correction, please, my lady, or just some corrections. The figures that I would have given you for the period 2015 to 2017. For the year 2015, 691 firearms were seized. For that year, 2015. For the year 2016, a total of 765 firearms were seized. And for 2017 thus far, 702 firearms were seized. Just wanted to make that correction. In addition to which, the percentage that I would have given you for the cocaine seizure, the decrease I have given you 83%, I just need to correct that and have a percentage of 78% decrease of the cocaine seizures. 